Hey guys, welcome to a complete guide to MAC lipsticks. Not long ago I did a video where I was showing you all of MAC's eyeshadow. I actually swatched all of the eyeshadows that are like currently made, and at least the ones that I have, which I think is all of them, and talked about the differences between like matte versus satin versus Velux Pearl versus Frost, all of that stuff. This is going to be similar. I'm not going to show you swatches of every lipstick that MAC has. I don't have all of them. You are going to see swatches, but what I'm going to be showing you are pictures of uh, swatches of what I think are sort of more popular ones or ones that you might know or have heard of, and then showing you some of my favorites in each group, meaning matte, satin, frost, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is kind of a favorites video as well. A MAC lipstick comes in a bullet that looks like this. Most of you guys know what these look like. So I've always thought that this looked like it should um, require batteries and vibrate, but that's me. So let's start talking about these and just jump right in. I'm going to start with the mattes. Uh, this is Mac's traditional, Mac matte is hard for me to say. This is Mac's traditional matte lipstick formula. They also have the powder kiss lipsticks, which are kind of a matte formula. I mean, kind of, I guess they are. And then they have um, their uh, uh, matte, the retro mattes, M matte. So their classic matte lipstick, I love. It's my favorite matte lipstick formula that's out. It's really dry, but I love the colors. I, they're, they're just, they're intense. They're, I just, I like the matte look and they're just a good classic matte. Ruby Woo used to be in this formula. It moved over to a retro matte. So it's got a different feel. I still have a little bit of the old Ruby, Ruby Ruby Woo, um, Ruby Woo, oh, Ruby Woo, Russian Red, Candy Yum Yum, Heroin. Those are going to be ones that I think that people are going to know um, who are familiar with Max Matte, like classic matte formula. They're all really nice colors. Ruby Woo, Russian Red. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to be able to say this. They're very similar looking. If you're familiar, you know the differences. I tell people if you are warm toned and you want a, you want a bright red lipstick, if you're warm toned, you're going to go for Ruby Woo. If you are cool toned, you're going to go for Russian Red. I prefer Russian Red myself, but Ruby Woo has a really nice retro look about it. It's very like... Has, it gives off kind of an I Love Lucy sort of a vibe. My favorites in the matte formula, Red Pepper, Lady Danger, Diva, Sin, and Smoked Purple. Now, some of these lipsticks that I'm going to be showing you swatches of, I don't know if they're still made. Some did, Smoked Purple is one that I don't know if it's around or not around. And I think Red Pepper is gone. Um, really gorgeous brick red, but you can see kind of how similar a lot of these, because they're very vampy. Lady Danger is a loud, like, orange red. If you want just an obnoxious orange red mouth, that's the one to go for. It's a really cool color. Um, but those are MAC's traditional matte lipstick formula. Now, if we go to their retro mattes, this was a newer formula that was introduced a few years ago, and it adds more, uh, I believe, in, in any way it feels this way, that it adds more silicone to the mix, to the formula. It's got a lot more slip. It's a little more comfortable. To, it's a lot more comfortable to wear for a lot of people. Ruby Woo got bumped over into this formula. So it's the same color, but it's a, just a different texture. I like this. It's nice. It's more of a modern matte. It's like the mattes that you've seen in the last few years. Ruby Woo, Flat Out Fabulous, and Dangerous are three colors that I like in, in this. Obviously, I mentioned Ruby Woo before. Um, but they don't, they haven't really expanded the range beyond like the, the, the few that they have. So um, I don't really have like, I guess, a lot of favorites. I don't necessarily reach for these as much. Uh, the Powder Kiss lipsticks. These are ones that have just recently launched. I don't know why I smelled the bullet. I meant to smell the lipstick. The bullet's kind of rubberized. Pretty much all MAC lipsticks have kind of a light vanilla scent. This has that. The Powder Kiss lipsticks have a little bit of that vanilla scent that's in the background. It's kind of buried, but they also smell like rubber. It gives you the impression of walking into like an auto parts store and getting hit over the head with the smell of rubber tires. Uh, my friend Crystal says that these smell like, I think it's dead rats which is kind of funny. And I guess I can see what you're saying. There's a sweet sort of smell of decay about this. It is kind of gross. The formula itself, it's supposed to be a matte, like 
balm kind of texture. So it's supposed to be a matte finish that's very moisturizing. I don't think it's a complete matte. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, they're not maybe as like hyper pigmented as a traditional matte or the retro matte. Uh, so they're a little bit more sheer. Um, I have Fall in Love, Burning Love, Impulsive, and Mullet Over. Impulsive is a color. I think that's the one that I showed you. Yeah, this is one that I do really like, but I like these kind of ugly mustardy sort of colors in a lipstick. They're a lot of fun to mix with other colors, and I will talk to you about my favorite one in a second, um, meaning my favorite mustardy color, because there's one coming up that I'm going to mention. So Eh. I will say this, I'll, I, I've tested them out on myself and I have very dry lips and they've been very comfortable to wear and they don't dry out my lips at all, which is nice. All right, next I'm gonna talk about Max Satin Lipstick Formula. Now this is where we're gonna start to add a little bit more sheen to the formula. Some satins, I don't see as much of a difference between like a satin versus a matte. Like some of the mattes, this is something that you got to understand is that just because something says it's frost or something says it's matte, it doesn't mean they're all going to look exactly the same across the board. There's going to be a little bit of slight variation here and there. Um, some of the mattes are going to be just a little bit more of a sheen. Some of them are going to be really dry. Some of the satins are going to be more dry and some of them are going to have more of a sheen. Pink Nouveau is one that I think could easily start to lean into a matte kind of a category. It's not. I just think it's more dry and matte looking than a lot of their other satin lipsticks. It's also a very popular one, so it's one that I mentioned and it's one that I swatched. Pink Nouveau, Flesh Pot, Myth, and Peach Stock. The satin category has all these lipsticks that when I started getting this video together and I was swatching these, I opened, I was like, oh, Myth, what? I just haven't looked at it in so long. Myth was like, do you remember Myth and a Smoky Eye? That was the thing. And I was so tired of it when it was everywhere. And now I would gladly have it back if it meant not having to see highlighter on the tip of the nose. I can't put my finger, I swear I'm not drunk. Highlighter on the tip of the nose and razor sharp Instagram eyebrows. Bring me back Myth and a black smoky eye. That's what I want to see. Peach Stock is actually one that I really like. It's one of my favorite nudes. Myth and Flesh Pot are both a little bit too, even on really fair skinned people. They're, they're just, they like wipe out your lips. I don't find them super attractive. Um, Cyber, Film Noir, Del Rio, and Sis. Now Cyber and Film Noir are ones that I think a lot of people know. They're the darker colors. They're really cool. Del Rio is overlooked. Never hear anybody talk about it. It's one of Mac's prettiest lipsticks. I think it's very flattering on a lot of people. It's just a gorgeous color. It's not a wild color. And Sis is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks of all time. It's one of my favorites that they make. I love it because it's ugly. No one ever gravitates towards it. It looks hideous in the tube. Um, a lot of makeup artists, if you talk to them about it and they use MAC lipsticks, they're gonna know it and they're usually going to like it because it requires a little bit of out of the box thinking typically to get it to look pretty. Um, it layers nicely, put it with any kind of a, um, was hovering the, the pencil that I'm thinking of, any kind of a pink pencil um, to warm it up a little. It's just a really cool color or go full on like mustard and like that ugly neutral realm. I love a cool toned neutral. Anytime you see a neutral that's hideous looking, it's usually cool toned. And I love those. I just think they're so much fun to play with. Sis, just check it out. If you're, if you're bored and you want to check something out and you want to be creative and play around with something, check out Sis. It's one of my favorites. Let's talk about, we're going to get into the reason why I really wanted to do this video now. Because I'm going to talk about cream sheens and then I'm going to talk about lusters. What I have been told from Mac and not like Mac corporate, but but people who work in stores, and from what I've seen, from what they've showed me, cream sheens and lusters are being discontinued. The entire range is being phased out. So if you like a cream sheen lipstick and you like a luster lipstick and they're your favorites, 
ask your local counter and then consider, they didn't have any of these in stock. So I ordered some online because I wanted to make sure that I had a couple backups. So cream sheens, you can take the satins, they add more sheen. Cream sheens are gonna even add more sheen and they're very comfortable to wear because they're very thick and creamy and they're very emollient and they're very moisturizing feeling. They've got a lot of color, a lot of them. Some of them have a frost and they will actually say, if you look on the website, it'll describe them as like a cream sheen frost, I believe is what it's called. So some of them have some sparkle. The swatches that I'm going to be showing you have none. They're all just the traditional cream sheen uh, lipsticks. I have cream in your coffee, creme de nude, cream cup. I don't know if it's creme in your coffee. <laughs> creme de nude, cream cup, modesty, and hang up. Hang up is a gorgeous lipstick. It's my favorite cream sheen that MAC makes. People who like these like them because they don't like wearing lipstick. That's one of the things that I've noticed. It's just something that when I ask people, why do you like these? Everybody says, I don't like wearing other lipsticks. These are the only ones I can wear because they're comfortable. So if you find lipstick uncomfortable, this is your category. However, if they're being discontinued, then you're just screwed. So there you go. Um, let's move on to Lusters because this is the next group that I'm being told is being discontinued. And this surprised me because I always thought that this was MAC's best-selling lipstick range. They have a ton of colors in this range. I've never been super impressed by them. I actually find them very drying uh, for the most part. Um, some of them are more forgiving. Midi Mauve is my favorite. It looks just like my lips and that's why I like to wear it and it's actually not drying. Midi Mauve, Hug Me, and Sea Sheer. Sea Sheer and Hug Me are both very popular. Um, a lot of people use them. A lot of people will use Hug Me as a nude. Uh, they're, um, how do I say this? They have a little bit more of a wet texture. Not heavy, creamy, emollient, moisturizing in the like fatty kind of a way, if that makes sense. More in a slippery, watery kind of a way. A lot of them have some shimmer to them, a little bit of a sparkle. Um, they're very friendly, like across the board. They don't really have like wow out there luster colors. I don't know if they're being phased out because everyone's going like, Mac's not really been at the forefront of trends in the last recent years. They've more been playing catch up and um, they, their liquid lipstick range, I think is too limited for how popular liquid lipsticks have been over the last few years. At this point, they should have a huge amount of them and they should actually be kind of phasing them out for whatever the next thing is because I think at some point soon, we're gonna be getting out of liquid lipsticks. It just makes sense, just because that's what trends do. So I, I th think that MAC is kind of a little bit behind. I don't know if they're getting rid of their lusters because they're just seeing everyone using liquid lipsticks. And so they're thinking, well, we need to go into this realm. Um, if they are, in my opinion, I think they're missing the boat again. I think they're gonna be a little bit late to the game, but no one's asking me, and I don't work there, so who cares? Let's talk about frost lipsticks. Uh, but if you like a if you like a luster, if you like uh, cream sheen, uh, like I said, don't take my word for it. Um, check it out. Go to a counter, ask somebody, make sure, and then if you want to get a backup, make sure that you order them. I had to order mine online though; they didn't have them in stores. Frost lipsticks. A lot of people either love or hate frost lipstick. I personally love a frost lipstick. Frosts and Amplifieds are my two favorite, unless I already said that I had another favorite <laughs> and I lied. They're my two favorite lipstick formulas that MAC makes. The ones that I have swatches of are Wild Extract, just because it's fun. This one looks really cool, paired with Electric Rainbow, which we'll talk about in a second. Wild Extract, No Interruptions, Plum Dandy, Odyssey, Plastique, O, and Grid. Now Grid, I'll talk to you about in a second. The first ones are all, as far as I know, still made. I don't know if um, Odyssey might not be anymore, or it is an O's, I'm not sure. Um, Plum Dandy's gorgeous. I love all of these. Uh, frosts are just fun to play with. They're gonna have, a, uh, I think, sort of the comfort of like a satin, about that much level of kind of drying versus hydrating versus whatever. They're a little more sheer and they have some sparkle in them. So they're just, they've got, a frost finish. Again, some are more frosty than others. If you like the color, but you find it to be too frosty looking, if that looks too whatever that you don't like about frosts, um, you can throw a gloss on top of it and it'll usually translate it into more shine instead of frost, if that's something that you don't like. Grid is one of my favorites. 
ever, ever of all time. Grid was actually a gift that I got from my friend Sarah, who um, used to work for Mac. She sent me this and she's like, I just want you to have it just because you should have it. When I got it, it smelled like a crayon. It, it was so hard to get this swatch on my arm. It's almost dried out. It is a really cool plum gun metal. It is so old that when I got it from her years ago, she had had it given to her from someone who like, it was like a trainer or somebody that she knew. And when she got it as a gift in the same fashion that she gave it to me, it had also been discontinued. So this lipstick, it's really old and it hasn't been around for a very long time, but I wanted to do the swatch because I I just, I love it. It's a cool color. So I thought it would be fun to throw it in the video. Um, let's talk about Amplifieds because I mentioned this is one of my other favorite lipstick formulas from MAC. MAC's Amplified Lipsticks. When you see the swatches, you're gonna notice that I have a lot on here. Um, one of my favorite formulas from them. Absolutely, because of the colors that they come in. These are very similar to cream sheens. I think of them as like a cousin. They're fairly comfortable to wear. They're not as, I describe it as fatty. And what I mean is like uh, a texture that just has so much like emollientness to it. It just kind of feels sort of fatty in a, in a good moisturizing kind of a way. These don't have that same texture. They're kind of between a cream sheen and a satin with a ton of pigment put in. So they're usually, for the most part, going to be really color rich. Um, when a limited edition comes out, a limited edition collection comes out and I see it's got amplified lipsticks, I buy them. I don't even swatch them. I don't even bother. I just buy them. I order, well, because I'll usually order online. I just order them because I want them. Because chances are I'm going to love them. Vegas Volt, Morange, or Morange, Full Fuchsia, Up the Amp, Blankety. Um, these are all ones that are, I think, a lot of people know when they think of a Mac Amplified Vegas Volt eight years ago was one that everybody knew. It's bright coral. It's really pretty. Impassioned Show Orchid was always one of my favorites. It's so pretty. Um, I have a friend, um, uh, Suzanne, who used to work at Mac. Uh, that's how I met her. And she uh, told me a story once where she's like, this is how we were talking about having to clean up your room and how I get distracted. And I start cleaning and then I discover makeup and then I suddenly, it's been two hours. The room is a mess. I've actually made a bigger mess and I look like a clown. Um, she said she'll clean and clean and clean and then, oh, she'll orchid and then just place with makeup. Um, it's a very distracting, very beautiful uh, fuchsia with a lot of blue in it. Um, Violetta is one of the colors, and I, I hope they still make it. I don't know if they do. It's one of the colors that I always tell people, or I used to tell people, just buy. Don't even think about it. Um, uh, the, there's a magenta lip pencil, Violetta, Violetta lipstick. I, I can speak. I swear I can. Um, there are a handful of products that MAC makes that I just think if you're interested, if you like color and you're interested in playing makeup, get those. Those are ones that I would always say just those are the things. And those were two was uh, magenta lip pencil and Violetta lipstick. Gorgeous colors. High Def, Blooming Lovely, Petals and Peacocks. Those were all limited edition. I just threw them in here because they were ugh, ones that I just loved, especially Blooming Lovely and Petals and Peacocks too. It's just, it's just gorgeous. They're so cool. I believe that those were out with the Liberty of London collection oh so long ago, and I have little bits of them left. The Lip Tensity lipsticks come in bullets like this where the cap kind of matches the color that's in the, in the thing. They're supposed to be, um, from what I understand, just like ultra pigmented, really cool, um, Whoa, look at all the color lipsticks. They're okay. They're fine. I think Amplifieds have more color, personally. Um, they're a little bit thicker. These are a little more thin in weight. They have a little bit more of that luster kind of a feel, where it's a little bit maybe more watery. This is just my opinion. And the ones that I put swatches on, you'll see them on your screen. I only put swatches on because they were the ones that I have here. It's not a lipstick formula that I have really any of. These were ones that I borrowed from a friend and tested myself because I just didn't really, I don't know, I didn't really gravitate towards them. MAC had their uh, mineralized lipsticks a while back that came in a, a also a different thing. And while I liked these, I never really got, I mean, this is like 
been used like maybe once or twice. I never really got into them. They're not around anymore. Uh, these are the kind of formula that I expect to see come and go within a year. Maybe they won't. It's just my thought. I have some miscellaneous finishes uh, that I was going to show you just to show you for fun. Um, I have Pervet and Bubbles, which were both glaze finishes, not around anymore. Hellraiser and Liquid Lorex, Dazzle finishes, not around anymore, I don't think. Dazzle ones come back now and then. Glaze ones used to show up in limited edition collections now and then, and they used to have a small assortment of them permanent. I loved a glaze finish because they were like a luster, but more sheer and often had more sparkle and were, I considered to be a layering product. They were something that you mixed with other colors and I thought they were really cool. Pervet in particular was, was really pretty. The dazzle finishes, glitter, 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 glitter everywhere would end up migrating but they were really pretty and I loved using them on the lids. Liquid Lorex in particular, in particular, I would say imp, in particular, that's not the word, um, two words, on the lids looks like just wet gloss, like wet clear gloss. It's so pretty. So those were really fun for that and those also aren't around anymore. Viva Glams, I wanna talk about these and just show you swatches of everything. MAC has a Viva Glam uh, like program, 100% of everything from the Viva Glam lipsticks. I, I believe 100% of the purchase price and everything, not just profit, is donated to uh, AIDS, uh, HIV AIDS charities. They do come out with new ones usually every year. There's like a new Viva Glam, there's a new campaign, there's a new spokesmodel. It's been a various different, Lady Gaga, Cindy Lauper, Ariana Grande bunch of people. My point is they have limited edition Viva Glam colors and then they have a permanent range one through six. And for some reason I look online and one of them's not available anymore. Um, but I have swatches of all of them to show you. And all of the ones that are permanent, I think are very flattering kind of across the board. It just depends on whether you like a frost, a satin, matte, whatever, because they're all different finishes. They're not like, it's not like a Viva Glam is a finish. It's just a category that they've made for these lipsticks. Uh, Viva Glam 1 is really pretty, actually, if you like a red. It's it's a really easy to wear red. Let's talk though now about the um, liquid lipsticks and then I'm gonna bring up lip mixes because I have a fair amount of them and they are still available and I just wanted to show you swatches. So liquid lipsticks, there are retro matte, retro matte metallics, and then Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Color. They're all called liquid lip color. So the retro mattes come in a thing like this, and they are just a liquid matte lipstick. It's actually a nice formula. Uh, my favorite liquid lipstick formula uh, traditionally has always been Jeffree Star's. I just think the colors are great. They apply really well, one pass. They're just a good product. The MAC ones, if they don't completely, in my opinion, they don't completely cover in one pass. However, where they excel beyond the Jeffree Star ones, uh, if I have to go over a few passes with it, Jeffree, I'm like cleaning up something. If I'm when I'm doing Doris and Melbourne, I'm doing Jay's lipstick. If I'm kind of like messing up and I'm trying to, they cake up pretty easy. The Mac ones you can do multiple layers on, and they don't really build up much. They're equally comfortable to wear. They don't, you know how some lip, 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 lip how <laughs> exactly, you know how some liquid lipsticks, you stick your lips together and then they st it sticks to, like pulls off of your lips, ColourPop. Um, these don't do that. Um, they're, they're quite comfortable to wear. Um, I, I wish they came in some more interesting colors. The metallics are fun. I only have one. I have Gems and Roses, which is like really pretty, I just think. And it is a matte frost, so it has that matte finish with a frost element. It's it's a matte metallic. It's not like nobody's made these. These have been out for a year or so from other companies. Um, that's just another liquid lipstick formula that they make. Now, they did come out with recently, these are the Grand Illusion Glossy uh, Liquid Lip Colors. I don't know why these aren't considered lip glosses because essentially 
just so you know, these are lip glosses. They, I think maybe they're thinking they're more pigmented, but in general, most of them aren't. You kind of pair them with other things or layer them on top of something. They're not really I mean, meant to be worn on their own. I don't know what that phrase means, but um, there's something that you would layer. Just Hustlin' is really friendly. Lunar Module is a little more interesting. They all pair fun with stuff. Um, mix them with lipsticks. That's what I, you can mix them with the liquid lipsticks if you want, or a pencil. Electric Rainbow is probably the prettiest and the most interesting. And this with that um, green frost lipstick makes a gorgeous, like, um, chartreuse. It's so pretty. Um, and that's that for the liquid lipsticks. The lip mixes, Max Lip Mixes, come in a squeezy tube like this with a little, like, squeeze it out up there. A variety of colors, basic colors and finishes. You can also get kind of mixing mediums in this category and they're meant to mix with other things. Now I just pulled out the ones that I had and swatched them all. Not all of these are available anymore. I know that violet is not, at least it wasn't the last time I checked. It hasn't been for a while. And I think that Dark Nude, the one that I have is called something other than Dark Nude, but I think Dark Nude is what it's called online. But I have Dark Nude Blue, Burgundy, Red, Bright Fuchsia, Yellow. I have a clear gloss, a clear satin, and a white frost, and then Violet. Violet was a really cool product because it was basically just duochrome. Now what these are, they're essentially a lipstick um, color in a tube that you're meant to mix with each other. You can put them directly on the skin. You mix them with each other. You mix them with other things. The clear satin, you can add to give it more of a satin finish. The gloss, you can add to add more of a gloss. The frost, you can add to make it more of a frost finish. Surprise. You can also mix these with pigments. These are one of Max kind of multi-purpose products that's meant to be really played around with and you're supposed to get creative with them. These came out before OCC's Lip Tars, but in essence, it's kind of the same thing. I think that these are a better product. Um, the Lip Tars had, um, they always bled really bad, I thought. They just migrated and just looked nasty around the mouth. This is just my opinion. These are a little more straightforward, probably full of stuff that you're not supposed to put on your mouth. I don't know. <laughs> Completely unnatural ingredients. But um, they just have more of a staple putness to them. Stick, they have stick to itiveness. And I appreciate a product with stick to itiveness. That's one of my favorite words, by the way. Um, and that's, that's it. I, I didn't really know what to say about these. Most people don't use these. You kind of have to apply them with a brush. I mean, you can use your finger. You could certainly use them as a blush. Um, eyeshadow base, maybe. I've never tried. Um, but they're kind of fun. Clear gloss is very similar to Max regular gloss in like a bigger tube. So I don't, I've never compared the ingredients to look and see. They also make a gloss mixing medium in a little uh, like old school pigment um, container. Um, and I don't really know, they're all kind of the same. The only one that's really different if they still make clear lip glass, that stuff is sticky. So sticky, so sticky. And I think that that is it for MAC lipsticks. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope that this was fun. Um, the blue lip mix, if I'm going to pick a favorite. Oh, it's such a cool blue. It's so pretty. Um, anyway, I appreciate you watching this. And hopefully, I don't know if this was helpful or just fun or informative or whatever, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, and um if you like what you see, of course, um, remember to check me out on Patreon. I have a Patreon. I'll link a little link in the description of the video. Um, any support helps to um, purchase products like this for reviews. Um, I have a concealer video that's coming up soon. Speaking of Patreon, um, thank you everyone who's on there because you helped pay for this and the concealer video that's coming up. I'm doing a Mac guide to concealers, like a complete guide to all of their concealers. It's going to be a little more probably in depth than this because we're not just talking about a whole bunch of colors and a specific formula, but actual like this is this concealer, this is this concealer, this is this, and comparing them to each other and um, pros and cons and all that. So that's coming up soon. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to you. Um, and that's it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, I appreciate it. And um, I will see you soon.